rootin', tootin', radio time, get time, story time. So I hope you're ready to saddle up and go on another wild ride. Thank you. Thank you, Green Bear, for that super enthusiastic introduction to rodeo time. So, yeah, we can have rodeo time and story time and even throw in a little mathematics. What? Don't be scared. I think we're going to have a good time, partner. Here we go. Hitting the trail. Katie and Cameron couldn't wait for the rodeo to start. This year, they weren't going to just watch. They were going to do all sorts of jobs with their uncle, Cactus Joe. Man, that's a great name for an uncle, don't you think? Cactus Joe, the best bull rider in Texas. Whoa, Cactus Joe looks like a classic cowboy. He's got a steaming cup of joe. Cactus Joe with his cup of joe. And there they are, Katie and Cameron. There's the rodeo. Everybody's set up. The horses are resting right now, getting their water, preparing for the day's activities. The night before the rodeo began, Cactus Joe came by to tell them about their first chore to water the horses before the bareback bronc riding event. Ooh, do you see what they're making? They're making s'mores. That's right, a graham cracker with a melted marshmallow and a melted chocolate topped with another cracker. That's optional, the topping. You could have one just open-faced as well. I'm just saying you have options. It starts at 3, so be there at 2 p.m. sharp, he said. You'll need an hour to get the job done. So Katie made a schedule so they'd be sure to be on time. 10 a.m., the parade in the grand entry. 12, launch. 2 p.m., bring water for the horses. Why? Because at 3, that's when the bareback bronc riding contest begins. And then at 7 p.m., let's not forget the campfire sing-along. One of the favorite parts about being in the great outdoors. Katie and Cameron loved the parade in the grand entry. They were the last to leave the stands. Truly the last. Look at that. Nobody else was left with them. We better get lunch quickly so we can make it to our job on time, said Katie. And off they ran into the distance. Oh, that's a Texas flag right there. And that's a cowgirl and a cowboy. They look all dressed up for the event. I want a burrito, Cameron said. No, barbecue. No, chili. No. Cameron changed his mind at every stand. Katie had finished her taco before her brother finally bought a chicken fried steak sandwich. Ooh, excellent choice. Excellent choice, Cameron. Just after Cameron took his first bite, Katie looked at her watch. Oh, no! It's way past two! We've got to go! Oh, no. Oh, no, it's 2.30! That's only half the time they, they need to get the, the Bronx ready and watered up and... Oh, no... Well, when Katie and Cameron got to the holding pen, there was Cactus Joe. Sorry, cow pokes, he said. You were late, so I watered the horses myself. Well, Katie and Cameron, wah, wah, they felt terrible, and they should. I mean, he gave them a big responsibility, and they failed. They climbed into the stands for the bareback bronc riding. We have to do better tomorrow, Katie said. Yeah, because when a grown-up like that gives you a big, important responsibility, you got to live up to it. Well, that night, after the campfire sing-along, Cactus Joe asked, Want to try again? He then gave them a job for the following day. Okay, so Cactus Joe is giving them a second chance. <clears throat> He gave them a job for the following day, catching the calves that got loose on their way to the calf roping, which started at 3 o'clock. You'll have to be there by 2.30 pronto, he said. So Cameron now, he made another schedule. 10.30 a.m., barrel racing. 12, lunch. That better not go over time. 1.30, the livestock show. 2.30, catch stray calves. 3 p.m., calf roping. 6.15 p.m., Fiddling contest. That should be fun. All right, so they have all their activities, all the fun stuff they want to do, and then their chores, and then well, it's all laid out very well. All you have to do is follow the schedule, right? So Katie and Cameron cheered for the barrel racers. Hey! They both got chili for lunch. Ooh, hot chili. Oh, hot chili face. But at the livestock show, Cameron's... Uh-oh. Cameron stopped to look at the prize-winning chickens. Katie lingered at a pen full of lambs. Ah. Then Cameron looked at his watch. Oh no! We've only got 10 minutes! 
till 2.30, till the calf roping contest. Who got the stray calves? By the way, second place chicken, first place chicken here. Best in show chicken, ooh, that is a fat hen right there. Oh, just on time, said Cactus Joe as Katie and Cameron ran up. All the calves were herded out of the barn and toward the arena. Good work, said Cactus Joe. I guess you're ready for a really important job tomorrow. Okay, so they made it on time? Oh, thank goodness. I was getting really concerned about their ability to stay on schedule. These kids sure get distracted. I hope that doesn't happen to you. That night, after the burp, 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 fiddling contest, Cactus Joe told them about their biggest job yet, handing out the ribbons for the bull riding championship. Now that was Cactus Joe's special event. You'll have to be at the grandstand at exactly 4.45, he said. Why don't you put the end time of each event in your schedule so you'll be sure to make it? Okay, so now Cactus Joe is suggesting some improvements to their scheduling so they don't, you know, overlap, right? 10 a.m. to 11.30 a.m., team roping. Now at noon to 1.30 p.m., closing day barbecue. From 3 to 4.30, the saddle bronc riding. At 4.45, exactly 4.45, enter the grandstand for the bull riding championship. And then from 5 to 6.30, the bull riding championship. Okay, so they've got the exact, exact times, beginning and ends. Because now, you're not going to stay too long at something because you see the end time, the beginning. Okay, so we have it down, right? Right? This should help, right? Well, let's see. Katie and Cameron cheered for the bull ropers. Shoo, 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 shoo. Ate as much barbecue as they could hold and whoop for the saddle bronc riders. But they kept a careful eye on the time. See, I'm pointing to my invisible wristwatch. A little before 4.15, Katie said, let's leave early so we have plenty of time to get to the grandstand. I think that is a brilliant idea. There they go. They're leaving a little bit early. You see them there going off? Oh, look, the news came on. Rodeo News Times. And the Cowboys all watching the action. Woo, how high is he going to jump up in the air? But then, uh-oh, what happened? What? A bunch of clowns came by on bicycles. Bunch of clowns. Excuse us, we need to get through, said Katie. But no one could actually hear her. Then came the sheep. Bah. Hey, watch out, said Cameron. Don't you just resent it when a bunch of clowns get in the way? Hurry up, yelled Katie. They started to run, but Cameron didn't see the uh, <coughs> blue ribbon pig. And Katie landed right on top of Cameron. Oh, <coughs> oh, now we'll never make it, he wailed. What's wrong? asked one of the clowns, sweeping up on his bicycle. Cheer! Katie explained, we'll be late, she said sadly, and we won't, and we try so hard to be on time. Ah, you won't be late, said the clown, climb on. And Katie and Cameron climbed on and sped off towards the arena on the back of the clown's bicycle. Yee-haw! They made it just in time to watch the bull riding up close. Afterwards, Katie and Cameron together pinned the blue ribbon on the bull riding championship. Doesn't he look familiar? Their uncle, Cactus Joe. Look at that. I wonder if he purposely assigned that job because he knew he was a champion and he wanted his nephew and niece to make it. Oh, and that's the end of our story. It was so good. I was having such a good time. Cool, it's field day. How can you tell time to the half hour? There's a lot of fun stuff planned today. What time is it, Moby? When you split something in half, you divide it into two equal parts. There are 60 minutes in one hour. Since half of 60 is 30, there are 30 minutes in a half hour. So, 
when the minute hand is on the six, it's 30 minutes past the hour. Let's see. What time is it now? First look at the hour hand, which is halfway between the eight and nine. That means it's halfway between eight and nine o'clock. Then look at the minute hand, which is pointing to the six. So it's 30 minutes past eight or 8.30. You can write the time using numbers and a colon. What time is the three-legged race? The hour hand is between the 9 and 10, so it's halfway between 9 and 10 o'clock. The minute hand is pointing to the 6, so it's 30 minutes past the hour. The race is at 9.30. What time is lunch? Twelve thirty. You can also say half past twelve because it's a half hour past twelve o'clock. I can't wait for the sack race. That's at ten fifteen. How can you tell time to the quarter hour? When you split something into quarters, you divide it into four equal parts. A dollar is equal to four quarters. An hour can be split into four quarter hours. Since one hour has 60 minutes, each quarter of an hour is equal to 15 minutes. When the minute hand points to the three, it's 15 minutes past the hour. What time does the sack race begin? The hour hand is just a little past the ten. The minute hand is pointing to the three, which is a quarter past the hour. The sack race begins at 10.15. That's a quarter past ten o'clock. What time is the jump rope contest? It's at 2.15. Remember, two quarters make a half. So when the minute hand is on the six, it's two quarters past the hour. It's half past the hour, or 30 minutes past the hour. What time is the egg race? It's at 11.30 or half past eleven. When the minute hand points to the nine, it's three quarters past the hour, or forty-five minutes past the hour. What time is the water balloon toss? The hour hand is between the two and three, but it's a lot closer to the three, so you know the time is close to three o'clock. The minute hand is pointing to the nine, which is 45 minutes past the hour. So the water balloon toss starts at 2.45. We can also say a quarter to three. Well, we don't say three quarters past two. It's a lot easier to say that it's a quarter to the next hour. What time are we doing arts and crafts? The hour hand is between the one and two, but it's closer to the two. The minute hand is on the nine. Arts and crafts begin at 1.45 or a quarter to two o'clock. Hmm, it's 8.30 now. The hula hoop contest starts at 8.45. That's 15 minutes from now. I can't wait. 